We're about to run through a complete assembly tutorial of a 22 and a half inch Weber kettle grill. Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue, and thanks for joining me. Today, as you can see, I have a 22 and a half inch Weber Premium Kettle Grill. We're not gonna bore you with the unpackaging and showing you every single piece that's in this box. But I am gonna take them, put them out in an assembly order, and I'll give you a shot then. Okay, so we've got all our parts out and an assembly order. Now it's time to get this thing put together. So these are gonna be the four tools that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a piece of chunk of wood that you can pound on a little bit when you put the wheels in. You're gonna need a hammer. You don't wanna to hit too hard with these though because the end caps are just plastic. All right, and you're gonna need screwdrivers, Phillips, and a straight. That's it. Okay, so step one, very simple. You got these three clips, all three clips. You go in, just pinch them together, the nipple, once that pops out, boom, done. Step two, we're gonna put this ring on. Very simple, but it is a little tricky. There's some tabs on here, so you gotta, you know, maybe like wiggle a little bit to get them in, all right? And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a tip for starting this barbecue up using this. So we're gonna take this ring and you're gonna get it through the damper handle and you kinda of gotta wiggle it to get it in between these legs a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't worry, it's gonna bend just slightly. It'll be all right. And again, like I say, this is the trickier part of the whole kettle installation. But that's it. I know what you guys are thinking. Ricer is going to get killed for putting a kettle together on the kitchen table. But you're wrong. I got permission and this is why. Because it's below zero in the state of Wisconsin today. Step three is pretty simple. You're going to take these two legs, the ones that were curved in. You're going to want to make sure that the curved angle is facing in towards this triangle Part. Okay, so step four, we're gonna actually start putting the wheels on. Slip this one on. Now this is where you're gonna wanna use that two by four. Put that two by four, that block of wood. Watch out that when you do this, that you don't drop all the pieces off the other end. But you're simply gonna just put this on like this. They typically always give you three of these little lock nuts. They're very simple. You can pound them on with a hammer. So we get the nut lined up a little bit. Tappity tap. And then we just simply flip it back over on the other side and repeat the same process. Get the wheel on, take your little end cap nut type of deal, lock nut, get her set, kind of hear her pop a little bit, tap it on. We've got this put together. Here's a little pro tip that I'm going to give you. You see where the handle is. You see where these two leg mounts are. That's where you're gonna take into step five where we're gonna mount our feet, okay? The single is gonna come on later, but if you take these two holders, match them up with the handle, you're all good to go. Step five. This is where I just told you on my pro tip. Make sure that you have the two anchor points that are equal with this handle, and we'll start there. With the hook up, it's very important that you have the hook up from the triangle shelf on the bottom, the bottom shelf. Now again, this is another thing that takes a little bit of jimmying and jamming and wiggling and wallowing. You gotta kinda push those inserts back in, the nipple part, and slowly work it in. Once you hear that click, you know you're good to go. Okay, so when you look at this leg, there's a hole that's about an inch away from the end and a hole that's about three inches away from the end. Put the end cap from the three inch side. This part we're gonna to wanna to leave because that's gonna hook into our grill point. Okay, so now we're gonna take our leg where the bigger, the farther down three inch part, and we're gonna stick it right in the top of this hook. And like I told you before, make sure that that hook was straight up on the other part. And then we're just going to repeat the process just like we did last time where we do the snap pin get her in. And it's a little bit, again, a little bit of adjustment. Step number seven, the ash catcher. Anybody can put this on. It's real simple. For the premium model, you have this ash catcher 
On the standard model, you have just a little plate. If you're going to be cooking on a deck, I highly suggest you get to the premium model. $150 on average, $110 for the standard model. This hooks up real simple. Just hook it right into this part. Do the same other process. And right here, you pinch this together and it hooks right on. All right, step number eight. We're going to put the grates in. Now make sure you put the charcoal grate with the rods up. Okay, that goes in just like that. And then you're going to actually use your grilling grate and put that in. Now with the premium model, you get the flip hinged grill grate. It's awesome. You can add more charcoal. You can add more wood during your cooks. I say always try to get the hinged grill grate. Step number nine, we're going to put the handles on. Take the little piece and put it in the back. Bring it up tight to the front. And make sure when you're putting the other outside, the larger one, that you actually have Weber so you can read it. Squeeze it together a little bit. And this is when you're going to have to use one of your tools. You have to get your Phillips screwdriver and tighten up the handle. Don't over tighten it, but once you see it cinched, get a little pressure, you're good. Now repeat the process on the other side. Step number 10, we're going to put the handle on. I typically always put the handle facing right towards the vent. I don't know why, but I just do. It doesn't matter, you can go either way. You will now be using what they supplied you is this little wrench. And then you before you put the handle in, these are attached to the handle. So get her up, flip it back over, then just get these little nuts set. I just finger tight them at first. Be careful that you don't cross thread them, but it's pretty hard to cross thread them. All right, so then you're gonna use, like I said, the little uh, supplied little wrench, T-handle wrench, and just tighten them up. You don't have to go over bearing. Keep this little wrench on the side because after you use a couple times, maybe you gotta tighten a little bit. But I just kinda do a quarter turn. There they are. Step number 11, your final one, is your thermometer. You'll see there's a little hook, a little catch inside this little base get it you're going to want to make sure that you're putting in this also goes into the top on your thermometer you'll see in the back side there's a little catch get it in should sit just like that and they give you a wing nut to go ahead and tighten up on the bottom of it but that's your assembly of a 22 and a half inch Weber kettle grill and my pro tip is get yourself a nice sharpie and adjust your vents, because your vent's going to adjust this way, full. This is also to clean out the ash, you'll move it back and forth. But get where you're at, full, half, and make a mark, and then a quarter, and make a mark. When it comes to cooking, it's going to help you a lot to be able to adjust your intake of the air that's coming in. We're going to be coming out with a lot more videos in the near future. Subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Tell me about your Weber kettle experiences. Tell me if you want to buy a Weber kettle. I'll help you out. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Could become a scrap. Okay, stop it.